Hey everyone, Chicken Guy 45 here with another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum Edition. Uh, this episode we're going to do a new scenario, and but I'm going to finish Checkered Flag off screen. Um, if there's anything I did different other than just playing the waiting game, um, I'll let you guys know. So, yeah, here we go. In the box office. I'm going to cut this loading screen out here, so I'll be right back. Okay, here we are in the box office here. Um, so let's take a look at our goals here for The Apprentice. A part, we gotta have the park rating at least 300 and we must sustain it for one month. Um, in the second one we have a VIP coming. Uh, the, only, the only thing different about this VIP is that she has a very low literate tolerance. And judging by the look of this park so far, we're gonna have to um, work on that immediately. So let's see here. Let's hire some janitors. I'm just going to do one on screen and show you how to set patrol areas here. Now do the rest off screen. So you see this button right here, the, foot, the footprints there. This is how you set a patrol area. When you click that, another one appears with an X. That just means, well, here's how you set the patrol area. You just click and drag. And if you want to get rid of an area, you can just click and drag right over it again. Or you can click this button, which will get rid of all the patrol areas for this employee here. So I'm just going to do the entrance here. And there we go. A goof already. And yeah, so that's how you set patrol areas. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. And let's see. Yep, and that's how you set patrol areas. Now I'm going to set. Um, I'm going to do the rest of this off screen, so I will be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, I set off the patrol area, so I have three janitors working on the entire park. One doing the entrance area, um, along here, stopping here, and doing this whole path down here, and this area here. I have another one just doing the this area right here, down here, and then the third one doing this little loop here. Um, so, yeah. One thing I just learned um, while I was setting up. Oh yeah, as you. Also, as you see, um, I've hired some mechanics too, to when we get get to um, building rides. Uh, by the way, you uh, like always. You want to train these guys the maximum, and it's best to do that as early as possible when you have the money, uh, just so they won't quit on you. Anyway, one thing I've learned while doing this is that if you double click the little portrait here. Well, it even says right there, you can double click it and you can go right to the employee. I've, that's pretty new to me. I've never seen that before. So, um, as far as the mechanics patrol areas, I, I don't do patrol areas on the mechanics or anyone else. Um, just because, well, if there's a ride broken down, one of them will end up going right to it. So, there's really no need for, for a patrol area for them. So, this, this is actually the really the true first time I've um, did any kind of patrol areas so let's see so the VIP will arrive the 7th of May hmm it's already May and I hear a noise what's going on yeah yeah as you can um, see there this well you see this as you've seen just a bit ago, you've seen this little, these props here. Um, they actually move around and uh, whenever a train goes by. So let's see. Uh, looks like a train's not going to go around for a while. Speaking of this, I've just remembered. Here's what I like to do for the monorail here. I like to use two trains, just one for each station. It's it's, re it's easier. So get it's just so the guests won't be waiting around so long because that's a pretty huge. Um, well, you have all this over here and stuff. So, yeah. all right. So now for the park rating, we're gonna have to build some rides. So now as far as park rating goes, okay. My mouse is just really slow suddenly. Anyway, 
As far as park rating goes, oh, if you, she's here. Awesome. Let's see. Let's. What is wrong with my mouse? Oh. Okay. I guess there's an extra button on my mouse here. I don't know if you can see that right here. So I guess it changes the speed of the cursor. Huh, that's new. Never knew that before. Anyway. So, uh, as far as park rating goes, the older the ride, the more it impacts the park rating. So we want to keep the ride new, but since there are no rides here, so except for the monorail here, uh, we should be set. So I like to start off building over here, so let's just build a couple of random rides here. Let's start off with some rides. Let's see, uh, there we go. just want to show you what these do. Another one over here. So yeah, that's pretty cool how they did that. All right, so let's build this thing. Again, I like to make the lines, the line paths, the Q paths as long as I can. I can even click the right button. Of course, can't have a number in the name. It's just me. Hold on. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Okay. Yeah. Um, all VIPs have this uh, bubble. If you activate this button here. So. Uh, I think I showed that last time. Yeah. I think I did. Anyway. Build some more rides. How about another thrill right? Uh, the main theme of um, this area is just normal, generic. So I'm going to try and stick with that theme here. Got the top spin from Vanilla Hills here. Oops. If you if you place your entrance or exit in the wrong place, I a timer. yeah, I got a timer. Again, I can only record ten minutes at a time. Anyway, um. If you misplace an entrance or exit, you can click one of these. Um, and just place it. You can also... I, I don't think I've ever shown this. You can also change the style of it. It's like there's a saloon, uh, Native American thing, or you can, I mean. Uh, futuristic, and yeah. Again, I'm just gonna stick with generic here. Uh, yeah, same goes with the entrances. And once I built this entrance path here, let's show you something else. Alright, um, what was it? Oh yes, um, so what I'm going to show you is, you can also toggle whether the banner is displayed or not. So, it's pretty cool too, and locate this on main view, and then, uh, I think I've shown off the ride cam before. So. Let's see, what else do I want to show off? That's annoying. You're annoying. Go away. Let's see, uh, what was it doing today? I had a brain fart. Oh yes, um, you can change the color of the paths, too. So, let's do a blue and yellow. I never really bothered with this, but I thought I'd show it off. Yay, blue and yellow. Michigan colors. Woohoo. You can also change uh, the fences too. I got a few. Oh, that's generic, I think. I don't know. You can even have no fence too. But I'm gonna keep it all the same. There we go. Show me a few cool stuff. Sorry, I thought my timer was being weird. Anyway, uh, let's do one more. Let's see. Let's go with the spiral slide this time. Let's do that. I 
literally... Eh, no. Doesn't really matter. I was thinking about um, moving the exit over here, but it really doesn't matter. Alright. What's this? Uh, looks like I need to get, get a janitor over here. Oh, we won a... We've won an award. We won an award. Best value. Very good. And where is that stinking janitor? Oh, what's going on here? Okay. Small glitch there. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think this is an area, isn't it? Um... Hold on, let me look at something. Okay. Yep, that's the right one. Oh. Okay. Alright, so, um, let's see. There is, should be a graph saying park value somewhere. Reading. Oh, wait, it's already. Hold on. Reading. I want reading. And so far we are. It's gotta be 100? Right. No, 300. So we're getting up there. So. Um, let me just show you where you can find the age of the rides. You have to. Uh, it's. Where is it? It's right. No. Where is it? Okay, so. Uh, major. Huge. Goof just now, um, well, as you can see, I added a, just one ride here, oh, ops, well, apparently the Bandicam wasn't recording, I don't know how that happened, but, whatever, so, um, damn, well, off screen I built a motion simulator just to add to the rides, and we've made the entrepreneur level, which I will show off next time, because I want to end the episode here, um, also, also off screen, I've shown where um, I've shown how you find the age of the ride. It's you just click on this, uh, cut, click on customers, and it's at the very bottom there. Built this year. Um, I also checked this one, which is also built this year, because I, I was worried about this one being a bit old. So, and again, um, the older the ride, the more it'll impact the um, the Park rating. Rating, yeah. So, um, well, thank you all for watching. Um, I'm sorry that goof happened, but, well, what can you do? So, I'll see you all next time, and thank you for watching. Bye.